Did you ever question why do Coca-Cola and Pepsi cost exactly the same everywhere? It's not because they're playing it fair. It's because they're struck. They're actually struck in a game. If Coke drops the price, Pepsi has to follow. If Pepsi raises it, people switch to Coke. So what do they actually do? They do nothing. They hold the line. Not to win, but to avoid losing. This is called Nash Equilibrium. A state where no one can improve their outcome by changing their strategy. Unless the other side changes too. In 1950, John Nash wrote a 28-page thesis that became the foundation of game theory. His idea, people and companies don't make decisions alone. They decide based on what they expect others to do. And when everyone starts second-guessing each other, they all reach a point where no one moves further. That's the equilibrium. But here's where Coke and Pepsi get smart. They don't just freeze the price. They freeze your mind. You walk into any store, they're side by side. They cost the same. And what they offer? Just two versions of the same deal dressed differently. So it feels like you're actually choosing, but you're just flipping a coin between two giants. And because the price never changes, your brain assumes this must be fair. And you stop questioning. That's where branding takes over. Since they can't compete on the price, they compete on emotion. Pepsi sells youth and rebellion. Coke sells nostalgia and family. Same game, different packaging. And because they've dominated your mind since childhood, you stop asking, are there any other options? That's Nash Equilibrium and Branding. Freeze the market, shape the narrative, trap the customer.